what's going on my savages we're back and i know some people are calling me and messaging me and saying the market's going crazy uh and i i'm just gonna check the market right now actually i see some double digits drops definitely a red day that means it's time to buy you want to grab a bag of ethereum you want to grab a bag of eos grab a big bag of litecoin <laughs> just get in there and grab some bags uh, Bitcoin Cash, definitely grab a bag. So today, this video is actually about R Chain. Now, R Chain, you know, I'm a big believer in R Chain. I need you to go right now, push pause, and join the co op. About $20, yeah, not that much. So let's go to R Chain on the charts. So R Chain right now is number 44 at a dollar 20. So R Chain has definitely been very consistent. And this is not about price speculation. This is just, you know, consistency in the market. Even though, let's click on this, down 14% today. We have 360 circulating supply. It released at 17 cents last year. Got a huge spike. And now it's around a dollar. So our chain, our chain, our chain. Some great things are happening this month. There's been a release. This is the Twitter page. And the release of the Archain 0.3 is up and running. There is a web interface you can use right here, Rnode version 0.3.1. I want to thank all the community members for their continued support. Thank you all. Uh, and let's actually run over to the Medium article Nash Foster has written, introduces version 3.1 0 0.3.1 the r chain consensus protocol so here's a little bit about the release and as you know there's a partnership right here with pyrofax please go look up pyrofax i'm telling you r chain is an amazing company co-op and platform in the blockchain space that you can look at research it's transparent and you can see what a good project uh, a good team and a good platform should look like now we have this is the partnership and they're basically you know spearheading a lot of the development and a lot of things being produced for the R chain the R chain so the latest uh, pre-production release is this is I would call it a huge milestone you know something that's very interactive very simple that the masses can participate in even if they don't understand or understand a little you can try it out for yourself the web module okay so let's see now this is the road to the main net which is going to be the fourth quarter of this year let me see the previous version running in the node and improve encrypted handshake that's major right there this is really what cryptography is an encrypted handshake and you want it to be the best now they're building on this and now includes a consensus protocol g rpc api and system engineering features definitely getting some technicalities or I'm getting very technical in this video uh, and the reason you want to do this is so you can start to know the language and know the space of blockchain and know the know what companies and projects are doing literally creating and molding the future right before our faces the future is now so let's see what does this allow developers to do observe consistent protocol in action interact with the a node api via grpc services execute rolling contracts via std err and ST out, std out channels operate the node in persistence mode nice supporting data storage between restarts so if your computer's down or if something happened you know restart you have persistence mode Benefit, and that's, that's major, that's nothing, just glance over. Benefit from new system features, including support from persistence of keys and support for system D. They, you know, they're literally, from my view, are thinking of everything. You know, just keep making it very intuitive, making the flow as seamless as possible. And you can check all this out on, click here, developer, R chain co-op. And you'll come here and you'll see, I, I showed you this page in the last video, but you'll see all of the releases. You got R space right here. And then you have R node 0.3.1. And you can, if you're a developer, coder, download this and 
really get into it, you know, go under the hood, as they would say. So the goal of this project is to build a decentralized, economically secure, sustainable blockchain. When complete, the platform will include a modular end-to-end -end design that is correct by construction, operates at a global scale, and support for a rich variety of decentralized applications and dApps. So I, I need you all to just know what's coming. It is coming. All right, correct by construction Casper. That's the consensus protocol. What establishes trust in a trustless network? This consensus protocol. A proof of stake algorithm is the basis for our chain consensus. Nice. PowerFX developer Michael Birch gives an excellent description in this. Let's see, is this an article? Yes, this is another article. Let's check out. Correct by construction. A visualization for the future of blockchain consensus. Nice. So as you can see, this this is what it is. That's all you need to see. That's all you need to know. Correct by construction. And it, it literally looks like DNA and genetics. When your body's formulae, forming in the fetus or forming in the womb, this is what it looks like. What well, obviously the cells got meiosis and mitosis and it starts there and spreads out. But this is very similar to biology. And that's what we're creating here. This is virtual biology, technical. It's we're just mirroring what we already are. It's mesmerizing to watch. But this but what is this animation all about? It shows continued progress in the development of the Casper Consensus algorithm. Casper consensus algorithm. Please take note of that. Please. All right. Here we discuss a little background of correct by construction. Casper, how is it being applied to our chain? So I need you to come here to this site to read a little bit more, get more in depth. I'm giving you the overview right now so you can see the full picture. GRPC API value for its proven success in highly scalable and distributed systems for support for backward and forward compatibility. Beautiful. All right, so instructions for exposing the API and information about currently available services is available in this readme doc. So they obviously, they're giving you all the keys. They're giving you everything to go and check out and audit or whatever you want to call it. So you can see, you can literally, I don't think you can get any more transparent than this. You can literally see what's going on under the hood from our chain. Then we have the STD ARR and STD out channels. Stout, stir. The architecture of the R lane, the rolling language requires the use of channels. Channels store state transitions, supporting concurrent execution of programs. Channels also provide security to shore user contracts and dApps. Oh, this is amazing. It's just like mind blowing stuff. As I'm reading it, just blowing my mind. All right, persistence mode, as you as I said before, you, they can run if there's a restart or power outage. It it will still run the information. Node operators can select to run the node in persistent mode. This mode supports storing the tool space to disk instead of just memory. So RAM is your memory, and your you know got your hard drive for your disk. The tools space to disk to support continuations, computations waiting for input to proceed, resuming after a restart. That's incredible. Our other new system features, persistent storage of keys. Our node stores keys and can reestablish connections with stored keys support for system D. Our node inst installation packages now register with system D as a service. Get started with version R node version 0.3.1. You have to Again, the link here to get, get it on and popping. Now let's actually go over to the web interface. Here it is, rchain.cloud. This is, this is it. You want to come over here and you can, so what I'll do first is just push run. You can come over here and push run uploading. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm counting too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight, nine, about nine seconds, maybe. Here we go. Completed. So you got your new XO. You got Joe. You got your X1 here. New. 
out ACK hello times two. So this is the information. This is the output was hello Joe. That's your output. Let's go to storage. This is all the information, the content storage right here. The string. Now actually, let's actually go back to we can change hello to keep it savage. I'm gonna keep it savage. My bits. Keep it savage, my bitch. Let's run that. Let's let's just see what uh what they're gonna crank out for us. This is, remember, this is our chain dot cloud. You can come over here, test it out. You see, there's eleven lines of code right here, and this is a a communication. So it's it's logic. That's what you know. Our chain says this is a logic setup. We got the output here. Keep it savage, my bits. And you see, this is the language, the rolling row language. Uh, so let's see. And then you got your storage content right here. Hello world complete you got your complete right there and you don't necessarily need to go through all of this if you're not a developer or coder i'm just showing you what is going on with our chain why it's so consistent you know why hello savages that was earlier yeah what why you want to look into a project and you know gravitate towards a project that's this consistent and solid you can go to the interpreter on GitHub right here. GitHub is here. And you can also fork it if you need to. Fork it for yourself. And right here, web interface to play with the Rolang language. As you see, about nine, less than 10 seconds to complete the transaction. Where the, the language, uh, this is six lines right here. New test result in contract and then in. Let's see, six lines, so we can end it there. And oh, so if I delete, let me see if I delete this. Let's see what happens. If we do it, actually, I can't do. I gotta close it out with a bracket. Let's see what goes on there. That was name six so that's seven lines actually now i can do let's see what they crank out for us error so yeah so you you can't change yes can't change the code and try to i can do this because you got to close all your brackets so if you have information being output you have to close it back up and make sure it ends the loop for the language and I'm just okay I'm trying to recreate this one but uh to no avail all right so that's the language that is our chain and you as you see I can come here and test out different things you know I can come over here and I can I can keep testing out things seeing how to interact with the language with the std out and std er and yeah, so once you have a, a full complete thought, the full logic, then you can run, you know, keep it, my, keep it savage, my bits completed. Uh, but you can test tweak, uh, and they say, let's see, where are we at? If you have, if you find out anything, you can submit any problems to Jira. Yeah, bugs can be filled in our Jira, and this is where actually there's some bounties over here as well. So I'm going to go back to Twitter and the Twitter says system administration still needed. If you're a system administrator, they're going to need you for the testnet launch and the mainnet launch. Apply here. Pyrofx.net. Let's see. They have a Archain meetup in Amsterdam coming up. Closing remarks from Greg Meredith. Think of the community. System features. Tune in now for collaboration. And the bounties are on here. Archain bounties so you can come over here you see the releases you see what everyone's working on and yes this is a co-op uh skip the tour this is where you can so you know submit bugs what have you thanks so much for tuning in keep it savage i need you to subscribe i need you to like and share and tell everyone about this
run to the mountaintops. This is a consistent, solid project. Stay savage. I'll be back with great information.